Hey, personal finance. I wanted to go through the insurance presentation rubric with you. We've spent some time on this. Um, I've kind of like been building on it week after week, a little bit like asking a little bit more of you each time. So I wanted to make sure I kind of put all my expectations together in one place so that you know what I'm going to be grading on. Um, so the first 10 points should be pretty easy to get. Basically, if you're following the structure of the template that I gave you, um, you should be able to get this just fine. So title slide lists the type of insurance and your name. The other part is there's at least five info slides clearly labeled with topic and relevant information. So like there's five slides here that wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then hyperlink the websites. So five like content slides here. That's like, if you just like put stuff on those five slides, you'll be good for that one. Um, sources page with at least three relevant sites linked. Okay, so that's down here at the end. So what I'd like you to do for your visual, I'm gonna ask you to hyperlink those things. But if you just have three websites there, those are that's good for like two points right there. Um, <clears throat> So the information given is interesting and compelling. This has nothing to do with it, what it looks like, but just like the content that you're saying, um, you know, is like relevant to what you're talking about as far as what insurance and it's interesting stuff and it like makes people want to listen, makes them want to at least think about get this, getting this insurance or think about who would want to get this insurance. Um, and then you have to have at least one chart that's relevant to the type of information that is shown. And those are all like the basic requirements that go with this assignment. But what I wanted to do with this one to make it a little bit special is to give you a chance to improve your, your presentation skills, both visually, like as far as your slideshow presentation, and also um, your presentation as far as like speaking and, and all that stuff, because that's a really important business skill. If you are thinking about doing anything with sales or anything with communication or anything um, like really anything at all, really, but especially, I mean, anything business related, you're going to need good communication skills. And so this is a chance to practice that, both your visual presentation skills as far as the things that you make in a slideshow, and then also the way that you talk about, talk around it and talk about the things that you're, that you're doing. So for visuals, the title slide is engaging, meaning that like, <clears throat> that like it pulls you in. So something that I did with mine is I used this this background for for my thing and that kind of just like gives you the title and it shows you like I don't know it just sets the tone for the pre presentation um, info is bullet pointed not paragraphs or full sentences that's really important because if you put a full paragraph you're gonna want to read a full paragraph and that's not good presentation skills that's just like reading a slideshow anybody can read a slideshow you're gonna be better than that right um, so some tricks for that are to highlight your keywords um, Either highlight them or make them bold, make them larger, sometimes something that I do, um, just so that you have your key points there so that you're not just reading, you're like talking around them. Text is sized well to fit screen. So what I don't want to see is like, um, you know, if I type something here and I type something here and I type something here, like that's not filling up the screen very well, right? So I want to coordinate my words with my pictures. Um, maybe like move the boxes around so that they look nice. You're going to want to put just a few big things per slide. Um, don't make people read a lot of small stuff. Um, let's see. <clears throat> URLs are hyperlinked to a word or phrase. There's nothing worse, not really, but there's, it's, it's really like unbecoming to see something, well, like my scribbles right there, but like that, like that's not something that you want to see because it doesn't mean anything to you, right? What you want to do is highlight it, click this hyperlink button, um, then you're going to click it again, you're going to say edit link. Okay, so now you can edit what this text says. So I can be like insurance presentation or whatever your link is going to um, make it super relevant. See, and then it just says insurance presentation and I know right where I'm going to. That's a big deal. Um, there's at least one image per slide that adds interest and information to the slide. That is so important to me because you have so many people that learn in different ways, right? You have some people that are more like, that are okay with just like black and white, lots of words. And that's great. Um, that's a really good skill to have. But some people learn through um, socialization. Some people learn through images and color and all those things like that. Um, or movement. So an image can 
take you out of the black and white and give you a feeling about what's really going on there. It really can speak a lot to what you're trying to communicate. Um, and then font, text, colors, and sizes are thoughtfully chosen to help communicate the information. Make it look nice. You know, there's a lot of things you can do to, to spice it up. Um, utilize these fonts. Utilize these colors. Utilize, you know, your bolds and your italicized and underlines um, judiciously, you know, so that you're, they're being useful for you. <clears throat> and then when it comes to the visual vi video presentation, um, Again, so not just reading the slides. This is really important to me that you're not reading your slides, but that you're talking around them, um, that you're making eye contact with the camera. You want to be, you know, presentable. You want to be relatable. You want people to want to listen to you. And there's some things that you would just naturally do, like when you're actually talking to somebody, that you want to make sure you do on an online presentation as well. Um, you're going to pace your words and use careful inflection, so you're not just going to be like, blah, 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 right? You're going to be communicating and talking to somebody about what you're trying to say. Um, presenting the information in a way that's relatable. Um, none of us are robots. We are all human beings, and we like to be communicated with, you know, as such. <laughs> like, let's talk to each other like people. Um, student presents information that is in a way that is engaging and even humorous at times. If you can add humor into your presentation, like any kind of presentation, any kind of interaction, like you won. <laughs> like that's the way to do things for sure. Because um, it makes people just want to listen to you and want to know what you have to say. So um, you guys got this. I'm excited to see your presentations. And uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs>